In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to do a scrum half pass. So the scrum half pass is undoubtedly the most important skill in a scrum half blocker. So it's essential for any scrum half to know what to do. So I break the skill down into three different elements. The first one is our feet, second is our head, third is our hands. So I'm gonna break down each element into a bit of detail and see what goes on in each stage. So the first stage is our feet. So feet simply means how we orientate our feet around the ball. So all the time during this video, I'm gonna be using the post um, as my target. So that means I'm passing off my right hand, therefore my right foot or back foot needs to be directly by the ball. My left foot or my front foot then points directly towards the target, which means I now have a channel between the ball and the target. What I don't want to see, I don't want to see this front foot get in the way of the target. So what I mean, what that means there is now I don't have an open channel between the um, ball and the target because my front leg is blocking off there. Okay, so if I do that towards the camera, so if I now change the target directly towards the camera, I have my front foot in a position where there's a channel right towards the target rather than blocking off here. Simply that means that I will have to come round the pass rather than be able to punch straight through. Okay, second point then. So now we've got our feet in position, we need to get our head in the right position as well. So, head needs to be directly over the ball. So because my head is directly over the ball, I'm in a balanced position. Also, you would have noticed that my weight automatically transfers to my back leg. So I, I now have a nice strong position here where I can start the path. So the third step is our hands. So we need to have a nice big grip on the ball as we would with any type of pass. And with our hands, what, what the cue here is as soon as we get our hands on the ball, the ball needs to start to move towards the target. What we don't want to see, we don't want to see the ball lifted up to this position and then pass. As soon as we take put our hands on the ball, we need to be start to move towards that target. So that's one cue with the hands. The second cue uh, for our hands is that our hands need to finish towards our target. So with this, our feet are in position, heads over the ball, hands are on the ball here. Now we start the process, I transfer my weight, and I finish in a long, low position towards my target. So in action then. Feet, head, and hands. So another couple of key concepts to our technique. So I mentioned a couple already, but we need to make sure that when we're transferring our weight, we transfer from our back leg to our front leg. So this will help with the power of the pass. And when we're doing this, we want to be pushing off our front studs on our back foot. That means when we've passed, we're going to be following through directly towards our target. What we don't want to see, we don't want to see our back leg flicking out because that is just a waste of energy. It's not very efficient. Okay, so make sure during our weight transfer, we're pushing off and going towards our target. That will help with accuracy, but it also helps with preparing ourselves uh, to get to the next breakdown and in our support play. Another key aspect that we need to make sure we're doing in our, in our scrum half pass, is make sure we're staying low. So when we get into this weight transfer position here, quite often scrum halves will raise their chest, which means when they, when they do that, the ball is gonna be on an upward path and likely it's gonna hit the fly half or first receiver above their head, which is something that we're not wanting. So make sure we're staying low throughout the pass, so that head and chest is staying low. And in our finished position, we're finishing square towards the target. So if I, again, if I do that towards the camera, we're staying low, and then our finished position, hips and chest should be square as well. I should have flat shoulders finishing towards the target. That will enable us to get the most effective and efficient pass possible. Okay, so there we have it, the scrum half pass. So the three main areas, we've got feet, head, 
and hands. If we get those three areas right, we're going to have a consistent and accurate pass.